in the swirling winds of chaos and the deafening echoes of war. Where do we turn? As the world trembles under the weight of uncertainties and battles, both visible and invisible, a whisper cuts through the noise, calling us to anchor ourselves, not in the turmoil, but in the steadfast love and assurance of God. Have faith and trust God in the storm. In this era, where even bishops delivering messages of hope and peace are targeted and attacked by those who seek to kill, steal, and destroy, we witness a profound moral decay. These attackers show no regard, even when broadcasted on live streams, underscoring that our faith is indeed under siege. Yet, we will not waver. We are assured of who holds tomorrow. Each challenge in God's timeline fortifies our resolve to trust in His sovereign plan. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends, let us recall a promise found in Isaiah 43 verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. These are not mere words. They are the vows of an unchanging God to his people, assurances given to carry us through every season of strife and storm. In times when the foundations of the earth seem to shake, when wars rage around us and within us, it is easy to feel overwhelmed and forsaken. Yet, this is precisely the moment to plant our feet firmly in faith. Consider the story of Daniel in the lion's den, a tale not just of survival, but of divine deliverance. Daniel's unyielding trust in God, even when faced with the jaws of death, led to his miraculous preservation and a testament to the power of unwavering faith. Likewise, think of Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles, 20 verses 15 to 17, who faced a vast army he could not defeat. It was God who said to him, Do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Jehoshaphat bowed in worship, leading his people, not with weapons, but with praise. What happened next was nothing short of miraculous. The enemies turned on each other, and peace was restored without a single arrow fired by Jehoshaphat's army. This is the mystery and majesty of trusting God. He brings victories in ways we cannot predict or comprehend. When our faith is anchored in Him, the chaos around us cannot dominate our spirits. Instead, we become witnesses to His sovereignty over every circumstance. Let us also draw inspiration from the calm courage of Jesus in the storm. As His disciples panicked, convinced they would perish, Jesus rested in peace. With a word, He calmed the sea, and their fear turned to awe. Who can this be, that even the winds and the sea obey Him? They wondered as recorded in Mark 4, verses 39 to 41. In our storms today, the same Jesus is present, powerful, and able to bring peace where there is panic. Now, as we stand in the eye of our own storms, let this truth sink deeply into our hearts. God is with us. He is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble as affirmed in Psalms 46, verse 1. Do not look at the waves crashing around. Look instead to the one who walks on water, who calms the storm, who commands peace with his very presence. My friends, let us cling to the assurance that our faith is not in vain. The same God who delivered Daniel, Jehoshaphat, and the disciples in their tempests is with us today. Let us, therefore, rise in faith, 
hold fast to our Lord, Jesus Christ, and step forward in prayer, confident that the God of peace will triumph over chaos. As we do, may our hearts find rest and our spirits be strengthened. Let us pray together now. Joining our hearts and voices in seeking the peace that surpasses understanding, a peace only He can provide. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. You may also listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, I come before you at the dawn of this day, lifting high praises to your holy name. You are the creator of all things, the master of the universe, and the keeper of my soul. I marvel at your magnificent power that brings forth the morning sun and sets the boundaries of the night. Your glory fills the earth, and your majesty is displayed in the heavens. Thank you, Lord, for the breath of life and the new mercies I see each morning. Thank you for your faithfulness that guards me through the night and your grace that awaits me at the start of each day. Through your love and grace, you have provided all that I need according to your riches and glory. Your love sustains me, and your wisdom guides my steps. Father, I confess my sins to you, those known and unknown. Cleanse me and purify my body, soul, and spirit. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and hurt to embrace your peace. By your Spirit, help me walk in forgiveness and love, reflecting your grace in every interaction. Lord, I pray against any attack that the enemy has planned against me today. I rebuke the spirits of confusion, fear, and discord in the mighty name of Jesus. Bind their hands and silence their voices that I might walk in your clarity and peace. Shield me from their schemes and fortify my spirit with your truth and righteousness. Lord, I ask for your divine protection over my life. Guard me from physical harm and spiritual decay. Keep me under the shadow of your wings, where I find refuge and safety. Let no evil befall me or my dwelling. Instead. Let your presence be a constant and comforting guard around all that concerns me. Heavenly Father, extend your hand of healing to those areas of my life that are broken. Heal my body from all illness, my mind from distress, and my heart from sorrow. Lord, restore me completely, that I may serve you with renewed strength and joy. I declare health and healing through the victory that Christ won on the cross, which grants me health and wholeness. Lord, bless my loved ones with the same mercies and grace you bestow upon me. Let them experience your love deeply and your peace profoundly. Protect them, guide them, and prosper them in all their ways. May your favor shine upon them and may they sense your nearness every moment of today. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, Lord, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement, knowing you are in our midst, as you promised. Surround us with your love and lead us in your wisdom. Together, we claim the victories you have set before us and embrace the peace that only you can provide. For those joining in this prayer, may we stand firm in faith and not be swayed by the chaos around us. Strengthen us, Lord, 
to trust you in all circumstances. May your Holy Spirit guide us, and your angels be dispatched to guard our ways. In every challenge and in every battle, remind us that we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member, and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos. That will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. And so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.